Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Athen Lido for our season 18 uh, February review now. Uh, so there's been a big, big move in the transfers. So uh, let's get into that. I'll go through who we signed first, and then who we let go after that. Um, I think, yeah, I think Marcelo Ch Sanchez. He came in um, on a free from he was sort of the agreed one from Ajax as the attacking midfielder. Um, getting a few run of games this season, but we did sign some other players. Firstly, we signed Ed Edison Wallens for um, Onse Caldas for 275k. Uh, young Colombian attacking midfielder or slash centre mid. He's gone out on load to uh, Norgeland in uh, Denmark. Oh, yeah, Denmark, thank God. Um, so hopefully he can do well. Another player we signed from Partizan for 250k was Zico Stojkovic, who is a, another Serbian. Um, so we thought we'd bring him in, and he's another centre-back, um, but they just produce so many good players, so we decided to sign him. Uh, another centre-back came in, this one I think was agreed from before, uh, Vekoslav Kero, 300k, he's now turned 16, so he can join the club, so he's come in. Um, and then finally, Patrick Rosborg has come in from Copenhagen on a free, who is another centre-back, who is a Danish centre-back. Um, his contract was running out, so I decided I'll give him a bit of a chance. Uh, but he's gone out on loan to Preston North End for the remainder of the season. So those are the ins. Uh, now onto the outs. Uh, we had a few loanies go out, let go of the youngsters uh, that aren't very good anymore. Nick Scantlebury, he left for Chelsea, of all people, for 250k. Um, just with the fact that we got better younger goalkeepers coming up and Scantlebury wasn't really doing it anymore. Last year he played poor, I think, so uh, I decided to let him go. Two hundred and it seems a thing. Big clubs want those backup players, backup goalkeepers, so they signed him for two hundred fifty k. Not going to get much game time there, I don't think. But so, um, but yeah, good to get some money out of him. Jimmy Malone, he went to Malaga for three million, um, which is a bit odd. Northern Ireland going to Spain, um, but he was wasn't really getting played as much. I don't think he's getting a bit older, so I decided to let him go out for 3 mil, which was good sort of profit from that, uh, getting on free. When I sent out the sort of work permits on loan, Wallens went out to Norgeland, uh, Turkey went to Germany, to Nuremberg, Jefferson went to Perugia, and they made the youngsters go out. And then the big one, Sumela Vieira. He went to uh, Aston Villa for 10.75 million. Um, so... You might wonder why I did that, seeing as he's sort of in his prime at the moment, had one of his best seasons last year. I think it's just the fact that he is so much older now, um, and he's still worth quite a bit, to be honest. So I decided I'd cash in for him now. I hadn't done this much this year. I did it a lot last year, but I decided to do it this year now. 10.75 million for a 30-year-old who I guess probably won't be getting as much game time next year. With Slavica coming through, and especially with, and with uh, Kenny Brunn in the ranks, I decided to, now was the time to move him on. And we got the fifty percent sell on, if in case he goes on somewhere else. But yeah, he is gone. One of our probably one of our key signings that showed that we are actually in the market for better players. He's always had a good season for us: twenty-seven goals, twenty-six, twenty-seven, fifteen, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. He just ridiculously good, but he will go on with our grace. Um, fans weren't very happy about it, to be honest. Um, but I think it was the right time for him to move on. Um, and he's doing, I think he's doing all right for Aston Villa in the Premier League. Seven goals in 13 games in the Premier League, not too bad. So, um, yep, he went out, but that's quite a lot of money for us. I think that's our biggest sellage. Uh, jean louis Boy went out on loan to Aberdeen. Uh, we sold Franco Koric to Hedrick. Uh, 500k, he just never really made it, um, so he's gone back to Hajduk, they've sort of lost some money on him I guess, but he did well for us, but just won't cut it, so he let him go, and then two youngsters that we actually sold for money, uh, Luke Miller went to Tom Pentra for 1.4k, and Jordan Morden went to TNS for 1.2k, so we're actually starting up to sell our players, our youngsters, to uh, our other team in the league which is a bit odd, um, but yeah, that's it for transfers, so we'll go through our fixtures. So, um, first thing I actually wanted to talk about was um, Lando getting into the Europa League group stage. They uh, they had another Europa group, and they had quite a tough group again. They had um, AC Milan, Liverpool, and Dinapro, uh, um, Moscow. Dinapro, yeah. Um, 
So they obviously finished bottom. They uh, lost 6-0 to Liverpool. Then then they lost they lost 2-0 to Dean and Pro. They actually lost um well they lost to Milan as well, I think. Yeah, they lost to Milan 6-0 as well. But they lost to Dean and Pro at home at 2-1 with a penalty. Kim North has got another goal for them in Europe. Well, he's got his first goal for them in Europe, but that's a second goal for them in Europe, which is quite good. Then they lost 4-0 to Milan, and then finally they only lost 1-0 to Liverpool when they were away. So, progress by them, I guess, in a way. Um, but, yeah, another team in Europa League group stage. Hopefully they can improve and start to get some points now. Um, but we had a lot of friendlies, as per usual, to go on some money. Uh, first game of the league was versus Convy. 4-0. Jurchvic 2, Stojkovic with on his debut getting a goal and Illich getting another goal there. Uh, 4-0 against Hav West. Illich with a hat-trick and Kovacic with one. Illich is really coming on this year. Um, Ridman was a 2-0 win. Shrofagali with his, I think one of his first goals. And Slavica with um, a goal. Welsh uh, League Cup second round was a 7-1 win versus Convy. Sari Thomas, Tomlinson, Slavica with a hat-trick and Illich with two. An 8-1 win against Banger, uh, even better in the league. Tolic with two, Marcelo Sanchez with his first goal through a penalty, Randa Lovic with two, Rangelov and Domchanic with a late goal there. Our first game in the Champions League was uh, was against Palermo, um, so I don't think I've played them before, but we won 1-0 away, um, and they actually had a former player of ours, they had two former players of ours, they have Suleiman Cisse there playing for them, he got man of the match actually, and they have Leo Fuentes, who they brought on later on, but he never got the goal, so... Two players, realistically, I did what didn't want to let go playing against me. So, but we did all right there. Got the one 0 win. Um, then we beat Tom Pentra two 0 Henriksen and Brun with both goals. Then we had Queens Park, um, a non-league team uh, in the Welsh Cup third round, and we beat them twelve nil. Uh, Slavica with one. Corinth got a goal um, from right back. Kovacic got one. Pitas got one from left back. So we had three of our defenders score. Illich got four. And so did Don Janic, so very good there. Um, Port Talbot, we beat 4-0. Veselinovic, Sanchez with another penalty. Rangelov and Jurcevic. We then had Man United in the Champions League. I don't understand this. We're, we're top seed and we get teams like Man United. I guess they're not as good as they once were, but still. And this was a very, very late winner. Um, Kovac just put us up 1-0. Pitas, own goal, drew it to level. And we were pushing for that winner. And in 91st minute, Dom Chanic steps up and gives us the win. Because we were dominating. As you see the stats there, we completely had all of the chances. We just couldn't finish them. And finally, as we were, I think, probably overload, I'd say. Because we we didn't, they didn't have many chances. They had that one chance, and that was it of the game. Um, I decided to put it, like, switch to overload. Um, and from a corner, Bamba puts the ball in. Dom Chanich there. And then that's it. 2-1. One, one, great winner. So, very happy with that uh, result in the Champions League. After that was a 3-0 win over Real. Slavica with a hat-trick. 3-1 over Lundo. Uh, Caro with his first goal for the club. Illich and Veselinovic. We then drew 1-1 away with Zenit. Zenit are a very good team, to be honest. They've become very good. And Veselinovic got us 1-0 up away. Junior got brought one back for us. And then in the end, nothing else really happened. We had, a, I think, a bit, a bit better share, but... Overall, draw is a fair result, even though I didn't want one. So, lots drop some points there. Uh, we did follow that with a 7-0 win over TNS. Illich got four. Uh, an own goal from Barry Gowan, a former player. Slavica and Marcelo Sanchez with goals. Then we went on to beat um, Abba 6-0. Illich with another hat-trick. Uh, Tolic, Kudela and Rangelov with the other goals there. We then had a ridiculous game uh, against Zenit. A 4-3 win at home um, they took the lead uh, through Tikhanov uh, 1-0 Santa Maria got it back uh, to 1-1 Illich then scored to make it 2-1 um, we then made it 3-1 through Illich then they brought it back within the space of 3 minutes they brought it to 3-3 and then the 87th minute Santa Maria got another penalty and scored to make it 4-3 so very very good win there we needed that win to control the group so thankfully we got that after that, we had DNS twice. We hit them first in the Welsh Cup, 5-0. Tolic, Illich with another hat-trick and an own goal. And then we beat him in the Welsh League Cup semi-final, 2-0. Randolovic and Santa Maria with goals. We then had Conway, Illich with another two. Slavica and Sanchez with goals. We then beat uh, Palermo 5-3 um, at home. It's a bit of a crazy game here. 
Um, we took the lead 1 0 through Bamba. They brought it back to 1 1. We Santa Maria got a penalty to make it 2 1. Right on half time, they made it 2 2. We then made it 3 uh, 2. This is Dom Tranic. Leo Fuentes was on along with Cissé. Um, and Leo Fuentes came back to haunt us, made it 3 3. And then I brought on Illich. Um, I think I brought, yeah, brought on Illich. And he did very well. Two goals in six minutes to take it to 5 3 and out of reach of Palermo. Um, so that was very good there. Uh, after that was a 5 0 win against Ridbowin. Sanchez, Bamba, uh, Brun, and Randolovic got two. We then went to Man United and won 2 1 away, which which closed the group up very, very nicely. They took the lead early on, but Dom Chanich quickly replied with a 1 1, and then Kovacic from a corner made it 2 1 late on. So very, very good in that sense. Um, if we look at the stages and then look at our group, um, I think we have Group H. We finished top of the group, five wins, one draw. Man United finished second on 10 points, then Zenit and then Palermo without a win, but with two draws. So very good performance uh, from us against some good teams like Man United and Zenit and a tricky team with Palermo with sort of former players there who always tend to score against you. Um, but yeah, after that, we had an amazing 11-0 result over half West. Tolich with a hat-trick, Illich with a hat-trick, uh, Tomlinson with a goal, Dom Tranich with two, Kovacic an own goal there to break double figures again in the league. 3-0 against Barry, Illich, Dom Tranich and Kudela. 4-0 against uh, Bangor City, Slavica, Rangelovic, Dom Tranich and Pitas. Then we had some good results here, 3-0 against Tom Pentra, 4-0 against Port Talbot. 4-0 as well against Real. 4-0 against Lando. Conceded a goal against Abbott. A 6-1 win. Uh, we even got a player sent off. Sanchez got sent off, but they got one as sent off as well. Then we beat the TNS 6-0. Um, Dom Challenge with a hat-trick as well. Then we had the Welsh League Cup final versus Tom Pentra. And we smashed them 8-0. Illich with a hat-trick. Slavica with two. Tomlinson with two. And Galabov with a late goal there to finish it off. So very dominant performance by us in the Welsh League Cup this year. Then we had the Welsh Cup uh, fourth round versus Carmarthen, which we won 3-0. And then finally in the league, 5-0 win against um, Barry Domchanich with a hat-trick there. So we have been doing very, very well uh, in the league so far. And as you can tell, Illich has been on fine, fine form. We've actually broken the 100-goal mark at this point, which is really, really good. 102 goals so far. Only four conceded, which is really, really good. Um... To be honest, we didn't concede many in the league. We conceded one there, um, one there. We conceded like one or two early on and then one or two late on. Um, but I'm very, very happy with this result. We could be on course to break that 1-5-2. I'm not too sure. We might break, I don't know, because we, we, our lowest conceded is five. So I don't know if we can break that. But we're on four already. So if we only concede one in the next ten games, I guess we can do that. But it'd be difficult. Uh, Ridden win, bottom of the league. Barry and Port Talbot also down there. TNS in second, Tom Pentra third. Lundo haven't been affected too much by Europe, sitting in fourth position at the moment, but that all changes realistically with the split when you're playing harder teams or as the players like the teams up here playing easier teams. Uh, if we look at our own squad, um, goals wise, Illich has been smashing it. Um, I don't think Bamba's injured or uh, away at the moment. Where is Bamba? No, Bam, yeah, Bamba's been injured actually all year. Um, he has not had a good year due to his injury. He had uh, two months out with a broken toe. Um, so it wasn't good. Broken toe and then he groin strain and then twisted knee. So Illich has been filling in for him very, very well. 39 goals at the half, like at February in 23 league appearances. I've just been playing him in as many games as possible, actually. I decided I'm going to play him as much as possible this year to get him as many goals as possible to see how well he adapts. And he's been doing very well. Eight assists as well. Uh, Dom Chanich, 21 goals in 19 games with 13 assists. Very good. Slavica as well, coming into this starting role, doing well in the Champions League. 17 goals and 14 assists in 21 games. Uh, Turkey's doing well, actually, on his loan again in Nuremberg. Uh, 13 goals and 18 appearances in the Bundesliga. Tolic, 10 goals and 7. Uh, jean Lee's Boyer doing well in Scotland. Rangelov doing well, eight goals, seven from Rangelovic. Marcelo Sanchez done very well, 14 appearances, five goals, 10 assists. Tomlinson as well, five goals, 12 assists. So overall, very, very good. But the standout man is obviously Illich. He could become something special. His, his stats, to be honest, his stats aren't the best. He's got some good, good mental stats, though. 
and some grad f uh, physicals. His technical aren't the best, so I'm going to try and prove them, but 39 goals so far. It's pretty fantastic. He's already got 23 in the league, 7 assists, so definitely worth the money so far. Um, but if we look at our fixtures for next sort of season, well not season, next half of the season, we got Sevilla in the first knockout round, and we got Bangor City in the World Cup quarter final. If you look at the uh, knockout round, it's Inter versus Ajax, Toulouse versus Shakhtar, Man United versus Fiorentina, Arsenal Monaco, Man City Real Madrid, Eintracht Frankfurt versus Juventus, Schalke versus PSG. So not too bad. Um, Bayern Munich didn't get through the groups. Neither did Chelsea, which is shocks. Um, City came second, so we could have faced them actually, which is, could have been a real bad one. Arsenal also came second. Barca didn't get even get through their group this year. The semi, the uh, runners up last year. Uh, Tottenham in the Champions League didn't get through. Um, and then I think that was about it, really. But overall, it's been a very, very good season by us so far. Um, financially wise, making money. That 10 million from uh, Vieira as well, 44 million now. So very, very good. Our sponsorships are going up, uh, getting more and more each year. So yeah, it's been pretty, pretty good. So I'll come back if we if we have a semi final. I think maybe, maybe, maybe we'll change it to quarter quarter final. But we'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back. Um, it's been Alex. See you guys later.